one of the exciting things about Ornomed and the way that we're approaching this is that we have that large supply. It doesn't require a nuclear reactor. It doesn't require a particle accelerator. We just process this waste and we're literally turning mining waste into cancer therapies. Welcome to Business Ninjas, brought to you by Write For Me, where you'll hear from business leaders who are out there growing their business and slaying it every day. Learn from the masters. Let's get started. Hey, everybody. Welcome back for another episode of Business Ninjas. I'm here today with Lake Wooten. He's the site director at AtLab at Orno. Med, Lake, welcome to the show. Thank you, Kelsey. It's nice to be here. Great to have you. So, Lake, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, um, I'm a husband and a father and a scientist and an engineer. Um, I grew up in Kansas, um, in Kansas City. Um, and then I went to college in Kansas, grad school at WashU in St. Louis, and um, lived in Seattle for a year and a half. And now I'm in Indiana, where I've worked for uh, three different companies, all manufacturing medical isotopes and uh, radioactive pharmaceuticals. And they're mostly uh, in, involved in fighting and uh, imaging cancer. That's fantastic. So tell me, tell me more about Ornomed. Uh, Ornomed is a really neat company with a, a very interesting story. Um, we're actually part of uh, a company called Orno Group, uh -huh. which is a French uh, mining company that has specialized in mining uranium yeah. for nuclear power and providing a lot of other nuclear services throughout the world. Yeah. At some point they decided that, uh, or they realized that they had access to a lot of radioactive isotopes that were being studied as potentially um, therapies against cancer. Mm -hmm. And so they've decided to launch a, a small pharmaceutical company within their, their massive uh, mining company. Oh, wow. Wow. So mm -hmm. talk to me a little bit kind of more about, you know, the, the solutions and what you what you guys do. We are uh, partnering with traditional pharma companies, startup pharma companies and uh, developing some of our own drugs. And I guess you could say the uh, the secret sauce or the competitive advantage is that we have access to a virtually unlimited supply of lead 212, which is the isotope that um, it emits alpha particles, which are basically like cannonballs, and they uh, destroy, well, miniature cannonballs that destroy cancer <laughs> cells. And uh, so having access to that isotope and to have the scientists and the facilities that can attach that isotope to the drugs mm -hmm. is, is really what we do. Yeah, that's interesting. So, you know, having access to these isotopes, that sounds like that's one of the ways that you're able to stand out kind of in in the area. Talk to me a little bit more about how you're able to, you know, uh, how Orno Med's able to stand out. Well, um, there's other people who are interested in using these isotopes um, and they're able to, to get some of it um, from nuclear reactors. Uh, we actually have uh, a warehouse that has um, thousands of barrels of uh, thorium nitrate that is constantly decaying and generating this, this isotope. Mm -hmm. And so we take um, a barrel or two a week and we dissolve it and we extract um, the isotopes that we need. And we send those to, currently we send them to the United States where the clinical trials are being performed. Mm -hmm. And we are able to put, reconstitute those barrels and put them back into storage. And they just continually generate the isotopes that we need. And um, that material came from a mine in uh, Madagascar, I believe, decades ago. And somebody decided that this stuff has a little bit more uh, thorium in it than normal. It could be useful someday, let's, let's hang on to it. And so then decades later, when uh, uh, Ornomed, or previously ArivaMed, um, was our uh, predecessor company, um, decided to launch, we sure are glad that they uh, held on to those barrels of <laughs> of radioactive material because now we're able to use it to fight cancer. Yeah, that, talk to me more about you know the how how Ornomed's able to fight cancer. Well, uh, we have um, a medical uh, chief medical officer and an entire clinical team yeah. that are designing and running uh, clinical trials. We um, get to benefit from the knowledge that we share with our partners, mm -hmm. and uh, we currently have a uh, our leading drug candidate is in a phase two trial. Oh, wow. And we're rapidly moving towards uh, phase three and commercial um, commercialization of that product. 
that is the um, uh, lead 212 dotamtate uh, product. It's we it's called Alpha Medics is the mm-hmm. the uh, the slang the layman's term. That's what we'll be manufacturing here in Indiana. Uh, first of all, in the background, we have um, a host of other candidates that we're developing by doing. Um, first, we do a lot of uh, chemistry work, but then we do um, small animal studies in mice and rats. And once those results look promising, we keep optimizing a lot too. We we don't want it to just be good enough. We really want it to uh, target the cancer mm-hmm. and we want it to spare the kidneys and the liver and other healthy organs. Mm-hmm. And um, after tweaking and modifying the molecule, then we, we move into a, a clinical study. And that usually starts uh, as a phase one study, mm-hmm. which is pretty small. And the patients receive a, uh, I guess you call it a subtherapeutic dose. So we're really just testing to make sure that it's safe. But to see that it's safe at small doses, then they design a study that's a little bit larger the patients, uh, there's more patients. Sometimes there's multiple uh, clinical sites mm-hmm. so that we can recruit more patients. And those patients receive a, a larger dose uh, that might actually have a, a therapeutic benefit for them. You know, clinical trials are always a, a bit unknown, even when you make it to the phase three stage. But we've seen really remarkable results where you know patients' uh, cancer can uh, really be treated uh, well. And so I'm very excited to be to be a part of something like this. And we're part of a wave of uh, companies that are working on these things. But it's, it's so neat to see some of the images that come out of uh, people with metastatic cancer all over their body. And then it either um, you know, decreases or disappears. And um, it's extremely uh, exciting to be manufacturing those type of products. Yeah. So as a scientist and you're man- manufacturing the products, like you said, break down what you know that looks like at Ornomed. Currently, we have a facility in Plano, Texas, and we have a team down there that does those early phase trials. And so our isotope has a short half-life. Um, some isotopes have longer half-lives, and um, I think that both approaches are useful for treating uh, cancer. I can tell you as a, as a worker, uh, the long half-life is nice because it gives you a lot more flexibility. Our half-life of 11 hours um, has, uh, definitely has some safety uh, benefits. But it means that we need to uh, work in the middle of the night sometimes <laughs> because uh, in a day or so it's yeah. it's decayed and it disappears. Yeah. So they, they go in um, at around three in the morning. They do their production. They um, they work as a team to make one dose for one patient. So it's, it's not uh, a large uh, batch of, wow. uh, of medicine. They, uh, they give it to a courier who takes it to the clinical site and the patient receives the dose that morning. And um, they're doing this for uh, uh, a couple of different drugs now. Actually, just recently, we announced the first patient dose for a, a new clinical trial. Um, and so that's, that's, there was a press release on that. That's and um, as the results come in and the, the trials progress from uh, phase one to phase two, um, that's when we're going to start looking to transition those products up here to Indiana. Okay. And so the facility that uh, I'm running here is uh, not ready yet. But um, uh, in 2024 is when we plan to do our first patient doses. Yeah. And um, we are, are designed for scaled up manufacturing. So we're going to be jumping from one or two doses a week to a, a more automated scaled up production that will eventually reach uh, 25 doses a night here in, in Indiana. Wow. And then we have plans for further expansion of the facility that could bring it up to 200 doses per night. Oh, and yeah. so... Uh, it's a huge jump in the volume, and um, you know I, I hope that uh, that we get there. If if we get there, that means that um, we are we've reached a commercial stage, and we have started to realize a uh, return on investment for our owners, mm-hmm. and it also means that we're helping a lot of people. So to make that much uh, uh, medicine is it's a little bit daunting, and it's a lot of work, but it also means that a lot of good things have happened. A lot of life changing so, things, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So you mentioned the the facility down in Texas. Talk to me about how the Orno Med has been able to grow so that now you're the site director up in Indianapolis. Talk to me about that. Um, well, I think they realized that, uh, you know, the facility in, in Texas is not designed for these large volumes of manufacturing. And, and we did a study to compare different cities as potential sites. Um, we're very sensitive to shipping times because of our short half-life. And so we needed to be near a major shipping hub. Uh, Dallas was considered for this larger facility and and Memphis, which is a FedEx hub. Um, Indianapolis is also a FedEx hub though. And we also 
are um, a rapidly growing um, environment for radio pharmaceuticals. So there's a, a talent base here, which is, is good for recruiting. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of familiarity with um, the radioactive materials and uh, making sure that all the regulations are um, followed. Um, it wouldn't, we wouldn't have to, we won't have to like educate a lot of people on, on what we do because there's a lot of other companies doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a business friendly climate and low cost of living. There's a lot of companies in this area that are doing this and, and I've worked at a couple of them and uh, they were able to, uh, to recruit me over to run this uh, facility. And it was a big, big jump for me, uh, which is one of the reasons I'm so excited about uh, this job. A huge jump in uh, responsibility and the stakes are high. And so it's, it's very exciting for me to be a part of this. <laughs> yeah, I certainly hear the passion behind your voice and the excitement of, you know, what's coming. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Absolutely. All right. So like if you were to leave our listeners with one thing, either kind of about the space, you know, the, the science behind everything, what would you want to leave our listeners with? Uh, that's a very good question. I would tell them to uh, Google some of the images that are coming out from patients that receive um, therapeutics that are um, alpha therapies or led to 12 therapies. Those would be the, uh, the keywords to type in it. And you'll see um, why so many of us are excited about this and why there's so much investment in this. And if, if you keep digging, you'll see that there's um, a lot of excitement about the results, but there's also concern about the supply and logistics. And so uh, one of the exciting things about Ornomed and the way that we're approaching this is that we have that uh, large supply. It doesn't require a nuclear reactor. It doesn't require um, a particle accelerator. Um, we just process this waste and, you know, we're literally turning mining waste into cancer therapies, which um, is good, good for the environment, but it's also very sustainable as a business. Yeah. And um, we're going to um, have a very exciting uh facility here in, in Indiana, which is what I'm focused on is the manufacturing. Uh, I'm committed to having a happy workforce too. So we're going to have a very uh, inspiring place to work uh, here in, in Brownsburg. That's fantastic. So if someone wanted to, you know, work for you or learn more about Ornomed, where would they go to, where would they go to do that? Well, of course the, the website um, mm -hmm. is a good start. It is um, being improved. So um, check back, uh, you know, <laughs> later, if, uh, if you want a, a newer version, um, we're getting more active on LinkedIn. We're writing press releases and trying to get our name out there a little bit. Um, you know, we're not selling things at CVS, so we don't need that kind of uh, name recognition, but, uh, we're, we are getting ready to, you know, to be a little bit, uh, more known. We focused a lot on our science uh, so far, and um, I kind of like that. You know, the, the the quality of the people and the work at this company is incredible, um, and I didn't even know it until until I started. So uh, um, we're we're trying to to get the word out a little bit more now. That's fantastic. That's great. And I certainly can't wait to follow the journey of of Orno Med as as you proceed and you know carry on in the future. Thanks. Yeah, it's a it's a really cool company, and the uh, the results and the drugs are so exciting. And we're literally we can apply this platform to a number of different types of cancers. It's not just one. So we uh, just need to find the right molecules to find those those tumors, and we can attach lead two twelve to it and um, treat many different cancers. Wow, that's amazing. I've I've learned so much from this interview. I really appreciate you being on Business Ninjas. Like, thank you again. Thanks. This was really cool. I appreciate you uh, reaching out to me and uh, I could talk about this stuff uh, all day with anyone. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, thank you again.